Okay, folks, being on black, and basically, if you watch the clock, we get a full day, finally, instead of just two hours. We get 24 hours, and if you notice that you'll see, if you watch here, every 24 hours, and just like clockwork, I think we're finding secrets of things by the sun. Every 24 hours, that does that, right there, and we're going to zoom in and take a look at it real fast. Don't know why my plus ain't working real fast, but anyway. So, no matter what, what we've got going on is every 24 hours, on whatever we have that's rotating up here, and we can zoom in, and even from this distance, you can kind of see that this ends up changing colors. And there is a red, and also it bounces over to here. And this is in 24 hour period, because remember, I was basically, I've still got it at the same speed of the 24 hour period. And something bounces over here exactly at 24 hour intervals. And then to here, within 24 hours. Now whether it bounces up in a triangulation and then back, it's hard to tell, but it does. And if we zoom in some more, we'll also be able to see what's really good is what you take it, I do this on the computer, but if you take and roll it over to a laptop and you can move your screen around, you'll be able to see the different angles of light and you can look at what's going on here. Now somewhere behind the solar panel is the sun. Now what has happened is, let me uh, zoom out to show you that the satellite moves ahead. Okay, so it's basically right now, whether it's the normal travel of the satellite or not, or whether NASA or the power to be is covering up under the panel of what we are seeing there but no matter what we get no matter what we get a 24 hours view in at every 24 hours that does that right there so we're gonna zoom back in on it real fast and we'll go to custom so zoomed in at 777 and when I bounce back out I will show you that we're at 777 so within a day we have our clock, which is the sun, 24 hours, perfectly, and then 365 days of what we are told that we circle the sun in 365 point whatever days. It's pretty much actual factual. Okay, but no matter what, this thing is like clockwork right here. So we're getting the internal clockwork of the sun's and like I say, we had a physicist a long time ago that passed away that said we had three suns in our Milky Way galaxy. Now, when you're looking in here through the solar panel, you can see some huge stuff that is bright. So, and it sure looks like we got an atomic sun, which we know it is atomic, and we know it's not flames. We know it, that it's electricity. And if you watch a volcano, you'll know you get electricity bolts, you'll get uh, thunderbolts, lightning. We have sprites in the sky, we get weather from outer space. So, we are discovering the sun, finally, that more than likely, no matter what, we've got a bunch of stuff tumbling around up there, and within 24 hours, this pops to here, no matter what. And it also in 24 hours, or a certain amount of hours, six hours or whatever in a day, it pops over here to the left. And you end up seeing that. So as you see this rotation, if it's a star that's rotating around, we are getting the blinky of something up at the sun, which we pretty much call blinky. I call blinky. And we also have what looks like the sun doing its atomic electrical there is radiation from the sun and right now on earth we have high CPM rads from Fuka Fudge up plus high rads radiation from the sun and we always get radiation from the sun and it's always dangerous when we get a lot of beta gamma beta is death okay uh, 
just it takes life out of your human body electrical system. So you get cancer and then you die. So we know radiation causes cancer and we are getting a good look at whatever our sun consist of because we see a nuclear reaction up here from the colors that we see because it's bleeding through the satellite so no matter what we've either found something that's not the sun and we have something radioactive electrical or basically we finally see the sun right there so I'm going to take the magnifying glass and go where I'm talking about where we see this popping around at and no matter what you can see this and this is basically 15 minutes of this action that's here so no matter what this is within 24 hours appears there and it keeps coming around like a grandfather clock okay bam it's back okay so it's rotating because you can see it there and you can also see what we sure seems to be the action of the sun or something and we'll know because basically what's going to happen I'll pop down before we go into the magnifier what's going to happen is the satellite's going to come this way as much as it's going to do it and then they're going to jet and take the orbit of the satellite back the other direction and keep an eye on the sun and these objects can get these shots because basically H12B has got all these cameras where they take this complete shot of Jupiter, Earth, and everything, and all these millions, quadrillion miles, because basically you can see quadrillion miles way out there. If there was a little star way out in the deep darkness of space, it would show up if it was bright enough, okay? So this is all stuff that's massive distances from Earth in the shots. Remember, this is out the back door, that more than likely everything like Uranus, Neptune, and everything is over this way, and like I was showing you, and I'll try to fit that in here, and show you that basically we'll go to go to B and see what we got going on over there. Oh, but let's finish up looking at what we figured is something we've discovered up by the sun because you know the sun's behind the solar panel or we have finally found that we have three suns, two smaller than the largest and the largest one is the one that they always keep an eye on on the sun. Now you know, if you've realized by now everybody's realizing that yeah, there, there is some stuff that's on the other side of the sun up by Mars because everything when I go to when we go to uh, we're going to go in here and take a look real fast with the magnifier of what we believe to be whatever blinky that we've found and or the elements of the sun, which is way more than just the sun. Basically, for darn sure that there's probably three suns. It's always kind of been known by a bunch of physicists it was discovered when they put the SOHO satellites up. And they've been keeping it quiet. Okay, so we're going to grab the magnifier and see what we're looking at here. Now, you're going to see the 24-hour one that I keep getting repetitive on, but every 24 hours, and the clock's the same. I haven't changed the time since I showed up at the shot. Then we're going to go over to uh, B in a little bit. And basically what we're looking at is I didn't mean to go into 400 that fast. So we're going to pop out, and then I'm going to try to get the magnifier out of the way. But we're looking at all this action here. So basically you can see the sun. We have a nuclear reactor up there. It pretty much is the sun up here to the right. But we also have some baby suns, blinkies down here. Because when they give us a shot of the sun, they just give us the largest element of the sun. So basically you can see the sun I, I pretty I'm getting to be pretty much on the fact that we've got the sun here and no matter what if we're wrong okay, and this is the largest thing in the area would be the sun about my pointer might not it's not gonna work good on magnifier but as I circle you can pretty much figure that the sun's something like and I'm going high where it's blue at where you don't really see much but if I sit still right up on the fringe of the top of the blackness here you can see movement, which is basically the electrical static of the radioactive nuclear volcano that's in space, which is the sun, which is a star. Okay? Static. Atomic. Okay? Magma. Just like Earth, the center of the core of Earth. We still have it. That's why we have all these earthquakes and uh, 
the record number of volcanoes going crazy right now. So we have a lot of atomic CPMs, RADs, radiation, and your son is an atomic nuclear reactor. So if not, we have discovered a bunch of fast rotating stars. No matter what, this goes around every 24 hours, like like a clock, i.e. we'll bounce all the way out of this and we'll pop down and you'll see that I have not messed with the clock at all. And there you are. And this is going at 24 hour intervals and we finally got back to the 24 hour and get the magnifier out of the way. And no matter what, this comes around every 24 hours. Bam, just like that. Okay. The sun is not a fire because the idea that you have to have oxygen and in space there is no oxygen. Now, that nuclear reactor, the sun, it does have, probably puts off a little bit of oxygen. Alright, so, now in 24 hours on Sechi A ahead where we can count all of our planets and then we basically have that this should be Saturn down here and Mars is somewhere in this shot here and then we'll zoom in on that but as you see the satellite is traveling as the clock moves forward and we're getting 24 hours we've always been getting 24 hours here they started giving us only two hours on the other shot we just left okay that's where we see the sun pretty darn good through the satellite and everything let's go up and see what we can see through, see through here so we'll go ahead and increase we'll go to 400 real fast and see what we can see with just 400 so we move away from Saturn and Jupiter and as you see uh, we've got another planet more than likely right there but it's way off in the distance so it's getting basically very scientific to actual f right to the Nats ass fact that uh, more than likely we can see here enough even at 400 that the Sun is up here behind as we've been seeing from in the remember we're farther away uh, on this shot as you can uh, know by looking at the planets and everything like that. We're even farther away from the sun on this one here than uh, B is closer to the sun, I believe. Uh, no matter what, we've got a planet down here and we've got planets up here. We're still seeing the action, so the idea that actual factual, if you see this magnetical over here, Mars isn't that far away that to the left. More than likely Mars is right here, the twinkling that you're seeing here. And let's pop up here with the magnifier real fast. I think I can do it right from here and then scoot up the screen. Uh, get up over in there so because we, we want to see that. And you can see that magnetical in the sun, which is huge. So it's got to be some kind of a size like this and this. So you get the idea that how small everything is compared to the sun. So you can see the outskirts of the, of the sun right here through those blue, green, and yellow colors that are going through the... Uh, so and you can see the radiation right here. See the radiation going off to that star there from the star sun here and then you got the magnetical lines here that there's more planets. You can easily see that there's more planets through this magnetical lines that you're seeing here than just more than likely Mars over here. Okay, Either that or we have discovered a tumbler besides the sun that's in front of the sun here which we pretty much have at Nehemiah it bleeds through the truth when you can just see with your eyes into the sky. So We'll go up here. No matter what, Mars is over this way. And we'll go to the maps real fast, and we'll go to also go to Curly Viewer and make you realize that the sun is not a flame. It's all electrical, and we get moisture from the heat of the electrical that comes off the sun in space. And they've just discovered recently, and it gets deposited on planets like Mercury, which is basically the same size as the moon. And uh, let's get over to Healer Viewer. I'm going to pop out of this so you can keep in contrast of what we're looking at and if you count your planets now remember Neptune, Uranus, and Pluto are all out the back door in this darkness back here behind the Earth no matter what 360 degrees somewhere out this way is Neptune, Uranus, and Pluto and if you count all your planets that they're listed here the four, five Saturn, six Mars uh, what are we leaving out here right now? You know, always keep an eye on Pluto and like I say basically remember the magneticals that are up over here on the land on the uh, solar panel and then you, you know that Mars is over here somewhere because even if this is Saturn in Mars there no matter what all the stuff because this is very likely Saturn but this is also showing that magnetical we have a bunch of stuff magnetical to the Sun besides what we think